Good morning, beautiful people. And it is a morning. And if I look a little tired to you, it's because I am a little tired. When I uh, got out of bed this morning, I went, you know what, I don't feel like coming in. But know this, we live by our actions, not by our emotions. If we live by our emotions, none of us would be getting out of bed this morning. None of us would be getting, going out, getting out and going to work. None of us would be going to school because we'd go by our emotions. So no, we go by our actions. So here we are, let's do the work. It's got traps, rear delt, terrace minor major, rhomboids, latissimus, latissimus dorsa, and your erectors. These muscle groups all work in conjunction with each other, and it's hard to isolate, especially when you're only as strong as your weakest link. That's why I use the straps, because you'll find out as you get stronger, your forearms are gonna be the area that's gonna give out, and we're not training forearms, we're training our back. There'll be a day when we train forearms, and when we do that, we won't use straps. But for now, this is how we isolate. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Right now is for higher reps. Yes, there'll be times when I use more weight and I'll use a little more relaxed way of training. But right now we're totally isolating the area. So, <clears throat> arch your chest upward, reach, relax, stretch. Arch your chest upward, draw down, hold it, relax. Margin of leaning back. I'll go back to my childhood. We'd had an area where a semi-professional baseball was being played. My brothers and I couldn't afford the tickets, so we had to hang around the fence. And the only way you could see the game is if you climbed up, to the, held up to the top of the fence. And as you pulled up, you leaned into it, and you held yourself as long as you could. That way you can see the game. You didn't lean away, because there's no way you're gonna be able to see the game. So think of yourself as watching the game behind the fence. Pull yourself up into it. And by doing so, you contract the latissimus muscles. All right, it's your set. What's extremely important is your grip. God gave us a thumb. I see a lot of guys throughout the years use a false grip, and that limits your strength. Take that thumb, wrap it around that bar like you own it. Make it a personal moment. That's your thing. You're as strong as your weakest link. Don't allow that false grip to be the weak link. It's all about the back. Good. Good stuff. I don't know why I call it old. Its purpose is still here. As long as it has a purpose, you're not old. Okay, wide grip pull downs. Same methodology, full stretch, full contraction. Pull your chest up to the bar as you're pulling the bar down to your chest, and they'll meet. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Doing those wide grip pull downs reminded me of a time where <laughs> I went to go see Mr. Pearl, Mr. Bill Pearl in Pasadena. And uh, I had an opportunity to sit down with him. And he asked me what my goals were. And he said, all right. He goes, what I want you to do is this. When you go to the gym to train your back, all I want you to do is 20 sets of 20 reps, pull-ups, all the way down, all the way up. And I want you to superset with pullovers, full stretch, 20 reps. Well, you can do all that, 20, 20, 20. Come back and see me, I'll give you the next part of your back workout. What I learned was that you don't have to do a lot of exercise. And I'm being counterproductive of what I just said earlier. But like anything else in life, if it's working, why change? What we're gonna do here, the compound motion, meaning there's going to be variables. I'm going to do one, two, three. My goal is to do seven for each one, seven reps. So that means obviously I'm going to do 21 reps. Watch the movements and how it coordinates with the whole back. Now there's, an upper, there's a foot stance back here. I don't use it. I'm still on the right track, 
but I found my lane is best when I don't use this back here. I'm going to inhale up. I'm going to exhale down. Without hesitation, next. Without hesitation, next. Full contraction, extend. There's a beginning and an end to each movement. Full range. Every muscle group has a insertion and an origin. You need to hit the beginning and the end and contract the whole muscle. Now, if you use too much weight, you end up becoming superficial. Now the weight becomes the goal. And if that's your choice, so be it. But if you're trying to do this in the manner of trying to obtain muscle mass, isolate. There's a beginning, there's an end. <clears throat> now I'm going to add a little gravy to this. Take a 25 pound dumbbell, I'm going to lay on my back on the bench, I'm going to do pullovers. This is going to be my rest period. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. The devil said, you won't. God said, he will. The devil said, only this far. God said, Rory, surrender to me, and you'll have no limits. Do the work, Carlos. It's your set. I've seen guys over a period of time, five sets here, five sets there, five sets there, and they're done. Uh, I have done as much as 40 to 50 sets for my back, but we only have so much time. So I'm just showing you a little bit for now. It doesn't have an angular, it doesn't have an angular rod. It has a rod that's straight up and down. Because of that, it may work good for one person perfectly, but it doesn't have any variable for the next. So you got to make the variable. Remember, I'll put you on the track, but you got to figure out the lane that you run best in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Oh yeah, this is how God works. This gentleman here, he's El Jefe. He walks this area a couple miles a day. He holds a bunch of records for his age group. When it comes to strength feats, when I see him, he inspires me. Yeah, I'm in my mid 60s. But how old are you? 73. 73. It's just an age, baby. Just an age. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to serious with you. For those that have been working out with me over the years, for those that have been following, not following. We're not following. We're working together. You understand what a spiritual gear is. I'm not going to count them. I'm just going to that spiritual moment. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Have no fear. Hoo, hoo, hoo. It's called stretch-ins. We've been doing them for a while now, and I've noticed others now doing it. It's an ulterior to doing pullovers, but basically works the same area. You're not only stretching your lats, your chest, your arms, you're just opening everything up. And you're working your serratus muscles, and you're working your abs when you come down and flex. Don't roll your back. Don't look like a camel at the, at the bottom. You want to arc and stretch.
spiritual gear. And like last workout, I'm going to ask you the same questions. Did you see it? You didn't see it, did you? Did you hear it? You didn't hear it, did you? Let me tell you what I saw. I saw my four-year-old daughter. We're in a pool, and I was holding on to her. And I told her, Cece, you're going to have to learn how to hold your breath underwater. And she said, Daddy, I'm afraid. I don't know, Daddy. I said, no, Ciara, you can do this. I blew air into her face. She went down. And when she came back up, she said, I did it. I did it, Dad. I did it. I said, you did, sweetheart. My daughter, while I was working out, doing that last set, I can hear her say, Daddy, I'm afraid. And I said, no, sweetheart, you can do it. You can do it. And that's when God said to me, don't be afraid, Rory. You can do it. You can do it. Have no fear. God is with you. I'm here to help you. Let's all do this together. Let's all do the work. It's your set. Well, thank you, everybody. We just had another great workout. And I really am happy that you tuned in. And like any other day, we're all human. And this morning was a tough one for me to get out of bed. But like I said earlier, it's by our actions that we move, not by our emotions. And as we moved through the gym, my actions took over my emotions, and we had a heck of a good workout. Now, I was getting a word in there, and I was sharing it with you guys throughout the workout, and that workout word was fear. And I want to share a word with you about fear. What are you afraid of? Let me tell you about the Lion of Judah, Jesus Christ. And for those that walk with Jesus, you know he lives in you. And those that are curious, stay with me and listen. I was watching a television show, a National Geographic show, and it, it caught my eye because there was this really large lion. And this large lion was standing or walking back and forth along this riverbank. And then the camera swung over, and then I noticed a big giant crocodile with an antelope in its mouth. And that lion, he was looking at that crocodile, and he was walking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then all of a sudden, he sprung into the water. And with a mighty roar, he went towards that crocodile. And that crocodile saw that lion coming. And yes, that crocodile is in his own environment, in the water. But that lion, bold lion, a bold lion, like the lion of Judah. That crocodile with the little beady eyes saw something in the eyes of that lion. And he let go of that antelope. And that lion went up there and grabbed what was in that crocodile's mouth that he was trying to steal from that lion. And that crocodile started to swim away. No fight was there. And that lion grabbed that full-grown uh, antelope and started to swim back. And then he threw his head up, and that full-grown antelope was swung up alongside his back. Then he walked to the other side, dropped that antelope to the side of the water, and he looked back at that crocodile. And all that crocodile could do with that little peanut brain is say, thank God he didn't come after me. That's the kind of boldness I want you to have out there today. Have no fear. Be bold. And when somebody or something has taken away your destiny, be bold enough to take it back. Whatever is negative out of somebody's mouth, take it out of his mouth. This day is yours. This day is yours. This day is part of your destiny. Make it happen. Make it worthwhile. Go out and be as bold as a lion. Until we meet again into our next workout. Let's do the work. <laughs>